Okay, here we are in Fredericton. The legislator behind me. Some people, if they're lucky enough, uh, they could have two terms in there and then they collect a rich pension. There's a lot of benefit when you're a politician and usually it's the dollar sign, the pension. But some people are there for the right reason. But it's politics. And to get in there, politics is a dirty, dirty, dirty ball game. Very dirty. And people are changing when it comes to voting. Donald Trump is a fine example. We're not going to talk about Donald Trump. We never do talk about Donald Trump. We don't do that. So, how you doing? Good. Social media. That's the thing. Social media. And um, people go by what's on social media. A lot of people are telling me, Charles, please, stop these videos. My God. You know, you're making a fool yourself. And people uh, don't like it. And you don't have 100,000 followers. Uh, you know, let, let the mainstream media do their job. Leave the politician alone. Leave the bureaucrat alone. Go and retire somewhere. But the problem is, when you want to get in there, there's a scandal. The scandal lasts for about two, three, four days. La, la, la Francophonie. There's a fine example where Jean-Francois Pelletier, J.F. Pelletier, refused to allow me at a news conference, refused allowing New Brunswickers at a news conference to find out what's going on. But bloggers like me can continue the issue and continue the issue. But people have a very short memory. And that's what politicians hope for. That people have a very, very short memory. An example, how are you doing? An example is what's going on in Ontario. The Premier in Ontario. You want to join me? Commissioner. Uh, politician in Ontario, Mr. Ford. Well, Mr. Ford, everybody forgot about his brother. Mr. Ford announced, oh, a dollar a beer, yeah, a dollar a beer. Then, he's, then he wins with a majority. But of course, the liberal, uh, the liberal leader wasn't uh, too popular as prime minister. But politicians are trying to tell voters to forget certain issues. Just forget about it. Like mainstream media, just cover it. I'm repeating myself for two or three days. Then forget about it. Here in Fredericton this morning, I just happened to put on CBC Information Morning, Terry Sagan, and he had a guy in there. I didn't know who it was at first. And this guy was so apolo... What do you, I'll say that word. Apologic? Apologic? Apolo anyway, whatever. Speech impediment. He felt so bad on the way that Kate Rogers the only female on council that she voiced her concern, all male committees. And then with idiot mayor, Michael Bryan, they felt so bad in what happened. Then they turned around and had a committee again, all male. So this politician was so, oh my God, he felt so bad. And he, it was just like, if you listen to this guy, it was just like going to a confession that this guy did really, really bad. You, you know, he felt so bad. Oh, somebody calling the cops. Uh, he felt so bad at what happened. At the end, it was John McDorm McDormand. He's my counselor. I don't talk to him. But he's, he's, he felt so bad at what happened. You know what's happening here? The rats are coming out in Fredericton. And I'm not talking about this building behind me. Council, City Hall, the rats are coming out. For three years, all councillors followed the idiot mayor, Michael Bryan. They just, everything he did, everything he said, not one word came out of any councillor. Not one. They even support um, a bus shelter 
for, for the welfare people and the immigrants at the welfare office, for the little kids, that they can keep warm. Idiot Mayor Michael Bryan says, no, 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 no. So, all council, they agree. They agree with insufficient ground. They agree with frets uh, to move at Harvey at Grant, Grant Center. He, they agree when they told the supporters of the swimming pool, well, you should find another hobby. You should start jogging. The list goes on and on and on. But the rats are coming out. John, Mc, John Mc, McDermott, he's the first one. You're going to see so many rats coming out now because there's an election in 10 months. And oh, hey, uh, really it was bad what we did. Oh, it was bad. But so, what are Fredericton? And I know, I know a guaranteed fact. This idiot runs for mayor again. He's going to get slaughtered. Either he won't reoffer or he's going to get slaughtered. And every councillor that's on that council must be defeated. But we will see. They never offer to square. Another thing, they never said a word. You're going to see some councillors speaking up and say, no, we must preserve officers square. This will be a couple of months before the election. And once they get elected, voila. So at first, people, they start breeding in the municipal level, and then they go in here. But those people, those rookies at the municipal level, the great harm they did to the people of Fredericton, we must make sure that the rats, once they, they are going to come out, and when they speak up, citizens of Fredericton, we must, we must not forget what they did. We must not do like what happened in Ontario. We mustn't forget. My God, thank God for social media, because all they have to do at the municipal level and say, I don't know, I'll buy everybody a free beer at Pickaroons, everybody, yeah! So, get ready, because the rats are coming, and they're not provincial ones, they're municipal ones, and they're the most. Stay tuned.